How to Thicken Bean Soup Blended Beans Method This is our favorite way to thicken bean soup without compromising its flavor. Here's what you do. Grab a can or two of beans, toss them in a blender with some water or the liquid from the bean cans, and blend until you get a smooth, creamy paste. It should be a little runny, not too thick. If it's too dense, just add a bit more water. What's great about this method is that it maintains the fantastic bean flavor while giving your soup that dreamy, creamy texture. It's quick, easy, and super effective. So, next time you're wondering how to thicken your soup, remember the blended beans trick. Refried beans. Now, if you're looking for other natural thickening options, we've got you covered. You can also use refried beans to add thickness to your soup. Just be mindful of flavor changes. For a creamy touch, consider mixing milk or cream with the refried beans before adding them to your soup. But let's face it, some methods do change the flavor a bit. For instance, if you're out of beans, you can turn to flour or cornstarch for thickening. Flour can make your soup bland if you overdo it, but it's a common kitchen thickener. Cornstarch is less flavor-altering, but be sure to dissolve it in water before adding it to avoid lumps. Potato Power have you ever thought about using potatoes as a natural thickening agent? Mash up some cooked potatoes and blend them into your soup, especially handy for ham and bean soup. It won't drastically change the flavor, and if you're already using potatoes in your soup, it's a match made in heaven. For a quick fix, boil potato slices until they're fork tender, then blend them with a little milk for creamy mashed potatoes. Add as much as you need to your soup and enjoy the added thickness without compromising the traditional flavors. Thicken in a crock pot. So far, we've covered stovetop methods, but what if you're using a crock pot? No worries, the same techniques apply. If you want to thicken bean soup in a crock pot without changing the flavor, remove some beans, blend them with water or broth, and mix them back in. Easy peasy, right? You can do this while your crock pot is cooking. Just pause, blend, and continue cooking. Your soup will be delightfully thick and hearty. Thinning your soup. But what if you accidentally make your soup too thick? Don't fret. If you need a little extra liquid, water works fine. But if it's paste-like, go for vegetable or chicken broth instead. It'll thin out your soup while adding flavor. The key challenge here is balancing thickness and flavor. You want your soup to be just right, so choose rich and tasty ingredients over bland ones to maintain that scrumptious taste. Pairing. All right, now that we know how to thicken bean soup naturally, let's talk about the perfect pairings. Whether it's toasty bread, crackers, pasta, or salads, there's something for everyone. For a twist, try pairing black bean soup with corn chips or enchiladas, and ham and bean soup with biscuits, green beans, 